Good evening, guys. Another edition of Blades and Beers tonight with Arjo. And yeah, yeah we'll, we'll talk about your background tonight. So yeah, let's start off first. No? Um, since it's EDC that we're talking about, what got you into the EDC culture? Okay, okay. So I, uh, I'll actually start from my younger years. So from... Simula bata kasi, bali lumaki ako sa province. So, it's uh, in Alicia Isabella, actually. So, ever since that time, ang hobby ng mga kabata nun is mga delikadong mga hobby. Yung mga bawal na ngayon. So, yung mga knives, mga, yung mga torumpo, mga sumpit, ganun. So, we played that, pati mga Indian pana. So, ayun, gawa nun siyempre, wala pa namang EDC, EDC terms nun eh. So ayan, lagi kayong, lagi kayong may dala nun. Tapos, and then, gawa nung, at nung time namin, kami rin yung gumagawa mismo nung mga laruan namin. So we usually have our bolos, yung mga ilokano na bolos. So kami rin gumagawa ng mga trumpo namin, yung mga tap. Ayun, so ayun, so by that time, so ever since... And then, gawa nung gardening, mga classrooms, gawa ng parabin. So, diretso, simula nung hanggang up, up until na college So, ayun. So, nung nag-college na, so, lumipat ako sa Manila ako nag So, ever since that, mga siguro na sa first year college hanggang third year, as in zero knives ako. And then, by that time, uh, mga nasa fourth year ata, Uh, I started on knives again. Uh, actually, carrying knives. So, due to circumstances, uh, I am selling knives actually noon. Mga China-made knives. Hmm. So, LRT noon, di pa ganun kahigpit. Dami dala-dala ako noon. Mga sampo, benteng, kuchilyo, ganun. Nandun sa bag ko. Nakikimit up ako, ganun. Actually, kasama ko yung girlfriend ko na, which is my wife now. Ayun, support, supportive naman siya sa lahat noon. Ayun. So, ever since that time, mga nasa 2 to 3 knives yung personal na nasa packet ko. Maliban dun sa gawan, engineering student, uh, calculator mo, notebook. Hindi, hindi kasi mahilig magdalambag eh. So, mga nandun lahat. So, ayun, by that time naman, 20... That was, I graduated 2010 eh, as, uh, as aeronautical engineer. So, by that time, wala pa ako narinig na term na EDC eh. So, wala pa talaga. So, yun na pala yung EDC din. So, simula nun, uh, up until now. So, nasa... More or less, more than 13 to 15 years na, parang ganun. So, ayun, EDC, up to now, ganun pa din. So, hilig pa rin natin. Okay. Ayun. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Uh, sige, anong, ano mo, uh, backgrounder, no, since you mentioned, uh, nag-start ulit sa mga knives. Uh, do you remember kung ano yung uh, knife that you started with off again? Uh, ang pinakauna kong kung, gawa nung siyempre China knives din yung capable tayo i-purchase sa kaibenta nung na, time na yon So, ayun, ang isang tandang-tanda ko is yung Smith and Wesson na tanto. <laughs> oh. Ayun, ayun. Actually, effective siya talagang maganda din. Pero siyempre, as expected na China, nasa 120 pesos lang at ang presyo nun eh. Ayun, ako kasi nagre-resale din nun dati. Saka yung Boker, yung Boker na black din na may parang rubber traction. Ayun, isa yun sa mga una kong knives. And dala-dala. And then, ayun, so nag-transition na rin hanggang papalit, papalit, palit na. Mm. Ayan. Alright, ano ang ano mo ngayon? Like, current set, for example? Uh, current set to us, EDC, ayun. So, ito, actually, I have this bag. Uh, it's a Maxpedition trip teach. Small, mm-hmm. I think. Ayun, so... Ayun, so maybe I can show the contents na lang din, no? Yes, Ayun. Uh, hang on, Ayun. I'll shift the view to you para makapokus yung camera. Alright, go ahead. Ayun, so number one most important thing, ito. <laughs> Ayan. And so we have our mask. So, ito, Patch, actually nakuha ko ni si isang brother natin to sa group, si Loreto. John, John, if you know. So trade din to. Ayan, so contents ng ating EDC here is uh, one of my main contents here. Of course, knife. I don't usually wear kasi yung mga may packets. Gawa nung usually nasa bahay lang ako. 
So, ayun. So, I have my Benchmate. Uh, 940. Uh, it's an old model actually. Uh, 150 cm pa siya. Ayan. So, works well pa naman siya. Drop shot pa. Ayan. So, may Benchmate 940. And, ito. EDC ko, napaka-importante ng light. Gawa nung kapag ka nag-stitch ako sa letter crafting ko, is ito yung pinang bird ko ng ends niya. And so daily to, marami akong stock nito. And then I also have my, here, uh -huh. are you? here, I have my whistle. And so nasa bag din natin lagi. And then I have actually a small plastic bag. Ayan, for emergency purposes, just in case. So ayun, at least meron. Actually, kung ata to Mercury, ano ah, ba to? Ayun, basta yung hindi siya branded para at least kon lang. Hindi, medyo tago. <laughs> Ayan, so other than that, may wallet, may leather wallet, coin purse. Uh -huh. I have my light here. Pag nagtitest kasi din ako ng mga lights ko, hindi ko sila dinuduin maigi kung ano nasa bahay ako. So nakalagay pa siya sa pouch. So it's a uh, Olight i5T. Yeah, so it's a, I, I think it's a limited edition then, yung green niya. Ayan. And then other than that, I think I have my, this one, important. I don't know if you know this. Actually, wala po nakita nagkikerry din nito. It's a test light. Kasi wala akong knowledge sa electrical talaga. So the only way na I know na may light is isasaksak ko lang to. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan siya. So other than that, I have my patch here. The one I made also. Ayan. I won't focus. Ayan. It's a letter one I made. And then, what more? The contents of my pack. Ayan, actually, yun na siya. Yun ang ating current. Ayan, and then alcohol. <laughs> Ayan, yun yung current EDC natin. Alright, thanks man. It's good that you mentioned about yung, yan, like for example, yung patch that you created yourself and you mentioned earlier you're doing leather crafts. How did that ano, start? Mm, okay. Uh, sa, I, naging EDC created na siya. Naging uh, sa mga leather pouch that you're making that I see. No? How did you get to that? Ayun, so initially kasi uh, nakata, medyo nakatabi yung control. So, ever since, uh, as I mentioned earlier nga, mahilig na ako sa knives talaga, kahit simula pa nung bata. So, by the time na lumipat kami dito sa Lipa, ng buong family, uh, I'm also looking to, I mean, to classic items kasi mga leather, mga antique, mga kung ano-ano. So, I'm looking for leather items na magkikater para sa mga knives na meron ako. So, by that time, I have my BK-11. And may BK2. So, yung BK2 is, so, yun, nasa 10 years ka rin siyang gamit. So, I'm, search, uh, I'm searching yung sheet, leather sheet niya. So, by that time, wala akong makita. Wala rin available pa nung time na yun. I think it's around 5 years ago kung hindi ako nagkakamali. Ayun, so, I've created, I've created my own. Ayun, ayun, so, enjoyable naman siya. Gawa nung, I've been to DIY na si ever since naman. So, I also do my welding, woodworking. Actually, kami rin ni Mrs. nagta-tile work dito. Yung repair ng sasakyan. Ganun, lahat actually totally dito sa bahay. Ayun, so, ayun. So, ever since that time, nung gumawa na ako, doon na rin ako nag-envision na ano kaya yung possible na hobby na capable na mag-produce ng income that will also cater my... Siyempre, yung interest ko, number one, is dapat gusto ko siya gawin. Ayun, so ayun na, so pumasok na yung yung EDC natin, yung ayun, yung mga pouches, yung mga straps. I think I have my strap here. Asan na ba yung sarilo ko? Ayun, so mga EDC na mga items natin, yung sa watch strap, mga pouches, ayun, tulad mga ganito sa mga balisong sheets. Ayun, so this one, if, if you know, uh, ayun, so it's a bark lever. Bark Lever Bravo 1.5. Ito yung original sheet niya actually. So, may customer sa so, umorder siya ng sheet. So, may, may, from this, so I made the one, the new one. So, it's like this. Ayan siya. So, it's friction sheet na siya. 
Ay, bago pa to hindi pa nakukuha sa akin eh. Ayan. Ayan siya. So, ito siya. And then, ayun. So, ayun. Doon siya nag-evolve na nag-evolve. So, from that access gawa nung simula din ng bata, kami na nagsisibak nung kahoy namin. So, access. So, nag-start din ako din sa access. And then, ayun mga, usually mga large knives. Ayun, tulad nito. It's actually my grandma's na pass away na already. So, ayun. I've been using this for more than 10 years na. But I got this from her. Ayan. Ayun, so madami. Ayun. So, ayun eventually ayun hanggang nag-evolve na nag-evolve nang nag-evolve from multi-tool pouches. Ayun. Kasi <laughs> limo marami din na. Alright. But do you have ano, do you have uh, samples of yung mga uh, more of your leather works din? And actually may may mga balisong. Uh, what other stuff do you have there right now? Ayun, so currently right now, uh, I can show some of my items. So ito, meron na akong multi-tool pouches dito. Ito, actually mga all the stocks ka to. Gawa ng, all my items are made to order. Ayun, na, nainggit ako sa pag-inom. Copy. <laughs> Ayan. So this one, so this one. So I colored it myself then. So I use airbrush. And it's wet molded. Ayan. Ayan. So, ito, multi-tool pouches. And I also do my sheet. So, this one, I color it myself also. It's molded. And ito yung knife niya mismo. It's a custom also. It's a uh, bearing core. And then, uh, I think it's spring steel on the outside. So, it's uh, sun may. Sun may steel. And then, I made it this one. Ayan. So, they are wet molded. So, maganda. Pang lifetime talaga siya. And good thing is, uh, I use the highest grade banded nylon na thread. So, I source it out from US then. Ayun. So, talagang pang lifetime siya. Ayun. Other items, I also cater. Ayun. So, Nag-uukit din ako. Ito. Sample, uh, I also do access. Hatchets. Yan. So, this one, I think it's... Ayan. Ayan siya. So, pati yung part niya dito and then yung sheet niya. Ayan, ako rin ang gumagawa. Depende sa requirements. Pero, uh, I can, ayun, highest grade talaga siya. So, I don't cater yung parang lower cost ganon. Ganon siya. Pero pagka-order ka ng custom, I want the customer na talagang tulad nito, lahat ng components niya, brass. I want the customer to be happy. Ayun, so, ayun, brass alone cost a lot. <laughs> ayun, kaya it adds up. Ayun, so, ayun, doon siya pumapasok talaga yung nagiging hosting niya. Ayun, so, ito, just to share my watch pala sa EDC ko. So, this is, uh, I think it's a five-year-old, five to six-year-old watch, Casio Madman. And then, yung strap ako na gumawa. Ayun. So, it's the simplest G-Shock kung hindi ako nagkahama. One of the simplest G-Shock. So, yung battery niya more than all six years, I think, or five years, hindi ko pa pinalitan. I never press anything in the buttons nita. <laughs> Ayun. So, so yan na talaga siya. So, wala, siya, wala akong iniiba na broken na siya. So, ito, ito yung leather ko. Gawa ko na rin. So, pwede mo siyang iganya-ganyan. Hindi naman na siya natadamage. Ayan. Ayan. And then sa akin din, mga belts. So, I also cater belts and other custom projects. Ayun, mga ganun, bro. Alright. Thanks, man. And um, that's that's uh, good information. And it's a wide variety of products, no? With with your leather works. So, uh, yes, yes. run through. And um, I'll catch you on the next chat. I'll stop for it. Thanks. Okay. Hey, thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Wow. <laughs>